Hi there folks, welcome to another scintillating episode of STIR with me your host John Valentine. Today we're going to talk about cauliflower steaks. Uh, a huge hit with my vegetarian and some vegan friends as well and uh, something that we'd like to do on quite a regular basis and uh, let's get to it. Right, so here we have our fresh cauliflower. Uh, you'll see it's the smallest available in the shops at this point in time. Funnily enough, it's obviously a seasonal thing and this is all that's really available. Um, it's, it's a clear case of vegetables with political agendas striking against us. Hell no, we won't grow. And uh, let's get to it. Right, so to start off your, your cauliflower steaks, it's important obviously that when you're cutting cauliflower that it doesn't break into the different florets that it remains uh, as attached to the central core as much as possible. So the best way to do that is turn your cauliflower over and you will see normally there's a solid core. Um, with, a, with a cauliflower this size, you would cut on either side of the core, okay, to get yourself a single steak. On the bigger cauliflowers, you can cut it right in the middle, uh, cut it to either side of the core and get yourself two nice large steaks to work with. For today's purposes, since they are so tiny, I'm going to cut to either side of that core. Leave on the leaves. The leaves are actually are nice. It's part of the cabbage family. Nothing wrong with the leaves. As versatile and as tasty as the rest of the cauliflower. Also, the off cuts that we're going to leave today won't go to waste. We'll stick that into some cauliflower rice, blitz it up in our food presser, and away you go. Right, so without further ado, we're going to cut, hold it nice and firm, cut to either side the core like such being careful with your very sharp knife there we go and a nice single cauliflower steak like I said on the bigger ones will be probably be such a size um, and you should probably be able to get two of those but we're not going to waste anything here today we're going to work within our seasonality even if they are striking okay so without further ado we're now going to stick our cauliflower um, onto a hot pan and we are going to coat it with this oil base that we've got over here and that is olive oil use obviously enough to to coat your particular cauliflower uh, size it includes turmeric it can be car uh, curry if you prefer curry it includes caraway seeds uh, black coarse pepper and of course our Himalayan salt and that's what we're going to use to coat the cauliflower steak. Right, we've now preheated our, our stove to a high heat in the same way that you cook a normal meat steak. Uh, we're going to sear the outside. We want our center to be nice and al dente, holding the steak together. And we'll take it from there. Right, so we're adding our cauliflower to our preheated pan. We're then going to coat it liberally with the oil that's already enhanced with this herbs that we want to utilize should go a nice golden color again you can use any spices and herbs and oil base that you would prefer in a taste that works for you turn that over do the other side nice golden yellow and we'll leave that on the go for about five minutes turning as necessary according to the heat that's applicable to your pan and to your stove. Right, so our cauliflower was in the pan for about five minutes. Uh, it's beautifully flavored. You can see the turmeric colorings come through. A uh, touch of curry that we had in there as well. And you can still see the caraway seeds that are apparent will give a nice nutty texture and taste to it. Um, you can finish it off yourself by adding a nice generous dollop of hummus or perhaps you want to throw on some cheese obviously not not a favorite amongst our, our vegan mates but for the rest of us that's a great way to uh, have a full meal just as it is uh, in greater portions or as a nice side dish accompaniment um, if that's your preference well we hope you enjoyed this episode as well short and sweet this one uh, we're going to go into our next recipe just after this but uh, of course Nothing, nothing is determines the outcome better than your taste buds. Mark, come and join us. Let me know what you think. Yeah, veggies. Okay, grab a chunk. Okay. Nice and al dente. 
Mm. Nice flavor. Mm. Yummo. See you next time.